Now, what brought you into this dance competition? What really brought you into this? Oh, well, for myself, I was very honoured to be um, a guest on the judges' table last year, um, courtesy of Gerard and his family. And I was sat with the lovely Bob Warman and Lord Digby Jones. Um, and after a few glasses of wine, I thought, oh, I'll be up there next year. Um, looking, it looks very easy. How wrong <laughs> was I? Um, I pestered and pestered Gerard to be my dance partner, and um, he turned me down. So um, I then met the lovely Granville Orange at the Worcestershire Ambassadors last year, and we realised we'd known each other for over 30 years. And I used to deal with all Granville's advertising 30 years ago. So then I started pestering Granville. <laughs> and after a lot of persuasion, Granville said, yes, he would be my dancing partner. Um, Strictly is very close to my heart. I had a scare over two years ago, and it was the worst six weeks of my life. I've had very close families and friends that have been touched by this awful illness, and I just want to raise awareness and raise money, so I'm very honoured to be up there dancing in Strictly this year. Um, I also volunteer at my Help St Richard's Hospice and I do a lot of their fashion shows for them and I've equally worked on the inpatient at St Richard's Hospice. So for me to be dancing is absolutely wonderful and I hope we raise lots of money. And Granville, what's, uh, how, where is yours coming from this, this angle? A different story, Max. Um, Gerard um, invited me to participate in the first Strictly in 2014 when I was chairman of Worcestershire Ambassadors. And I kindly declined in that uh, I've never danced before, I'm known for my two left feet, and I didn't want to make uh, a fool of myself or anybody else, so I declined politely. He then invited me to participate this year, and again I declined. And then at the Ambassador's Ball, as Julie has mentioned, we met each other, um, that was early October 14, and following that ball, well, Julie um, and I were back in touch, and Julie invited me to be her partner this year. I, I declined the suggestion to go and find somebody younger <laughs> who can dance, but she was persistent, and uh, for obvious reasons, I succumbed. And, uh, and then we, um, we, we, we then partnered up with Deb, and we've been having dance lessons with Deb since... December. December, November, so December. here we are, Max. So here we are. Yeah. I'm finding it incredibly tough. <laughs> so that yes. night I said, that's easy. Hats off to all those lovely contestants last year because they made it look so easy, didn't they? Mm. But my goodness, it's not. Is it, Deb? <laughs> and Deb, how did you get involved with this? Um, well, I was expecting to do a private lesson, not, not knowing really what for or why. Um, and then when I met Julie and Grenville, they, um, they said they were going to appear on the Strictly Worcestershire competition. So I thought, oh, I've got my work cut out for me now. I've not done it before, not done anything like this before. So um, it was a real great challenge for me to um, choose some choreography for them, music as well, and tell a story as well within the dance. So it, it was a great challenge for me, and I've enjoyed every minute of it. Good. So all of you, you're looking forward to the, the, the event. Uh, it's only a few weeks now. And um, how are you feeling about that? Are you getting nervous now? Very nervous. I have to do everything is knocking together. Max, my knees and everything is I think I'll be worse than you. <laughs> <laughs> but I, when, when we're up on that stage, I've just got to forget about 750 people that all eyes are on us. I've got to focus on the reason why we're up there and enjoy, enjoy every moment because we probably won't get this opportunity again to be part of such a wonderful event. Well, thank you all very much thank and you. best of luck thank on the much. next month thank and we'll you. see thank you there. Yes, thank okay. you very much. Bye.